Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar. And here's a brand new halacha for you. And it's for Wednesday, the third day of April. Here we go. I don't know when exactly you're hearing this, because this is being taped on uh, March 31st. But this is your halacha for Wednesday, the third, for Wednesday, the third day of uh, April. So if you're hearing it then, Pesach, of course, for you has ended. And there are a bunch of things you need to know as Pesach ends. First of all, if you're hearing this right, right, right after Pesach, don't be so quick to eat all the chametz that's inside of your home, because... The chametz that was inside of your home was hopefully sold properly through your rabbi, and he has possibly not bought it back yet from the non-Jew who owned it. And that's for real. He really, really sold it if you arrange that with him, and he really, really needs to buy it back from the non-Jew, and he needs a little bit of time after Pesach to get that done. Maybe figure on an hour or a little bit more than that for the rabbi to get that procedure done, and then it's safe for you to start eating the chametz that uh, that was not owned by you, but that was te- technically owned by the non-Jew. Okay, that's how it works. Now, if um, if anybody did own any chametz over the holiday of Pesach, a Jewish person, then that, by rabbinic decree, is forbidden to be eaten after Pesach. So if there's anything that you didn't properly sell and it's chametz, like Cheerios, pretzels, bread, etc., then you would not supposed to be eating it. I say specifically Cheerios, bread, pretzels, and cookies and those kinds of things because things that were just uh, prohibited rabbinically because of kidneyos, because they had like um, things that resembled bread in them, like uh, high fructose corn sweetener, because corn kind of resembles uh, bread products. So those are not as strict. So if you owned a bottle of Gatorade and it had some high fructose corn sweetener throughout the holiday of Pesach, you could drink that after Pesach. That wasn't chametz that was owned on Pesach. Just chametz for real, like liquor, bread, pretzels, Cheerios, cookies, noodles, all those kinds of things, those are the ones that you have to watch for. And therefore, also, when you go shopping right after Pesach, you can't go into a Jewish-owned store that didn't properly sell its chametz because that's forbidden chametz. So check that also with the rabbis of your area to see if there are any stores in your area that were Jewish-owned that were not properly properly selling their chametz. If there was such a thing, then you shouldn't be buying their chametz until it's all been cleared out of the store, which might take a, a month or so. So please discuss that with your rabbis if you have any doubts about that. Thanks for logging on, and log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.